What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. This video, though, is entitled Black Conservatives versus Black America. Um, once again, people think being conservative has to do with being a Republican, and that's not true. Most of the black community is actually conservative in, in values, okay? And the issue to me is you have a part of black America who's conservative, who believe in family and family values and, and, and building on things and taking care of things and maintaining things and having some type of order and structure and responsibility uh, to the commun to their family first and into the community so th you know the next generation can um, piggyback off of that work and build upon that and be better off and the next generation can be better off so on and so forth but you have another part of black America who just want to do whatever they want to do but at the same time they want the benefits of people who are conservative. So if these people are, uh, got their stuff together, um, those are the people that you make fun of, that you talk down to, that you feel like you know are beneath you, but at the same time, those are the people that you want to help you. You know, and this goes, you know, even, it's not, it's not a, it's a family thing, but <clears throat> using some of the culture as a reference, if you notice, you know, f for decades, the music has been pushing degeneracy. So you could do whatever you want and you can make it in life. That's that's the message. Um, the problem with that message is, you know, there are far more people who got jammed up in life than people who made it. Like it ain't even, you know, it's, it's, the people who made it are all anomalies and everybody else is screwed. But you see how people vacillate back and forth because you want to do what you want to do. And we think being dysfunctional is part of the black experience when it's not. Like, that's the thing about me saying black conservatives versus black America. Black conservatives do not see, uh, how can I say it? Do, do not see dysfunction as part of the black experience. You know, they don't think, you know, you're supposed to act a fool because you're black. You're supposed to um, have bad habits because you're black. That's not what a lot of black conservatives are on that. And that goes back to your, normally your grandparents at this particular point because your grandparents didn't allow certain things and that generation didn't allow certain things. You know, you couldn't just come as you are everywhere. You had to, you know, you had to do something... Um, you had to handle your business everywhere you went. You know, it was a time and place for everything. It was a time to speak. It was time to be quiet. It was a time to to handle your business. It was a time to let loose. But now, uh, the 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 mud the waters are muddy, and people think you could just do whatever and it works out in the end, and you're mad at life. Like if anybody remembers Fight Club. There was that scene where Brad Pitt was like, you know, we were watching, we've been watching MTV and we all thought we could be stars and rock stars and movie stars and we can all live the American dream and that was a lie and now we're pissed. Like, it's the same mentality, you know? And which to me is very problematic because it's not necessarily liberalism. But it's, um, we like the imagery, you know, like Barack Obama was a good image, you know, for us, but until he became the president, people made fun of that type of imagery. See, it became, when he became president, that imagery became cool and accepted, but pre the, the last 30, 40 years prior to that, it wasn't. Like after the civil rights movement, the people that you would look up to 
who who were cut from that same cloth after the 60s, from the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, they weren't viewed in a positive light. They were viewed as suckers. You know, lames, you're not cool enough, right? And now, you know, people are turning around and say, ah, I made a bad call. You think? You think. But part of being conservative is also um, being responsible. And I must say, part of our community is um, okay with being irresponsible. You know, that ideology that all the good brothers were dead in jail, you know, is that, that's irresponsible. You know, a bunch of baby showers and no weddings, irresponsible. You know, people treating, um, you know, people treating college graduates like suckers and and, 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 and people fresh out like, you know, good people, that was irresponsible. So you're praising the wrong people, but you, you if you appraise those type of people so much, but and then turn right around and say, what's wrong with the community? But what's wrong with the community is you reinforced that type of behavior, and you said it was okay. So now that that behavior is okay, what is your problem? You know? And then you want the very people who are quote unquote conservative, you need to come back and help us. No, you need to get your team together of all the people that you deemed as appropriate and, and, and smart and intellectual and entrepreneurial and um, your best of the best. And y'all need to fix it. You know, and you know, this is where some of the political thing comes in because. When you put politics into it, um, Democrat and Republican are basically trigger words for people. You know, if you say, you know, I'm a, I'm a Democrat, most black people are like, okay, cool. If you say I'm a Republican, they trigger it. Like, what the, why? So, because it's a trigger word, you won't talk to the ideology. And I, and I got to admit, there's some... Uh, blacks who are conservatives and who are Republicans who really are disingenuous to our people. You know, everything everything white is right and everything black is wrong. And that, that creates a boundary in itself. So that that very much so exists. But the other people who don't have that same ideology, they're trying to tell you something. And when I said, you know, most black families are conservative, think about where you came from. You know, people go back to where the civil rights movements was all Republic, that was Republicans. But true, you know, yeah, it was under the Republican Party, but the ideology was conservative. You know, the black family through the 60s back was a conservative family, you know. And we, we, we were conservative just out of the fact that... Um, Coming from, coming from slavery to Reconstruction to Jim Crow, you know we didn't we didn't have the f- the freedom to be quote unquote liberal because we didn't have that type of um, life in America. You know we could be killed for anything, right? So you have to you had to count your pennies and stick together, and work together, and build together, and um, stick it out through thick and thin. You know whether you're on a winning team or a losing team. It, it, it forced us to bond together. But, you know, as times have changed, people f- feel like you can move about society a little bit freer after integration, and now you could be free to make rogue decisions, you know, without actually necessarily being um, pointed out in the community. You know, so people know that they, you left people hanging, but they can't say it's you because there's so many people that are rogue. But once again, when you have that many people, you know, in, in, in black America who think being rogue is okay, they're also rogue with fixing the, the very problems that they start. Thus, the, the issue that conservatives has with, with black America to a degree is like, yo, why are you um, not fixing this stuff? You said you had, you had it together, you got it, 
you the one that can get it done, and how come you never got it done? And then when you're holding people's feet to the fire, then all of a sudden, you know, it's not their fault, it's yours. So it's a, um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a idea, ideological war that, you know, you're seeing the fruits of it. So I'm done with this one. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.